It's a village of the Free Weavers of Quincy. Come on, girl. Lucas, John, Alfred, Simon, get the looms into the church with the women and the children. The rest of you get behind me and bring anything that you can fight with. Well, well, you're mad to fight them. They're bound to win in the end. What can we do? How long can we go on? We're doing what's right, and that's enough. <laughs> The longer you fight them, the worse it will be for everyone. We must defend what is ours. Why don't you take on someone your own size? Our prisoner will volunteer a little more information. Well? Mercy, mercy, I surrender. You have no choice. Now tell us who are you? And who's the leader of your black company? My name is Moltravers. And my lord is. Top villains murdering their own comrades. They seem more than anxious to conceal their identity. Perhaps with luck we can change that. We're better off as serfs. We had the protection of the Lord's arms, at least. Have you forgotten the feel of the iron collar around your necks? We're free men now, and free men will stay and fight. Where's the profit in freedom? We can't live in peace to work at our trade. Our wool is burned and our cloth destroyed. I say that the serf's iron collar is worse than the hangman's noose. They'll hang me before I'll wear a slave's collar again. You're a brave, spoken man, Will. But what are we going to do? For food and shelter? To protect our families? We stand alone at the... Mercy of these black brigands. Well, forgive me for asking, but how was it the Weavers of Quincy won their freedom? We wove the cloth for Lord Quincy's company when they rode off to the Crusades. The day he set sail, he struck off our collars and gave us our name. The Villagers of the Free Weavers of Quincy. And by all the saints, I'll die before I'll surrender it. But who are they be fighting? What do they want of us? We don't even know. And that's what I intend to find out. But how? They killed their own man to keep their secret. Aye, but I have an idea. They left his horse in his tunic. The horse? Aye. The horse may tell us more than his master. At least he won't lie. That's Come true on. enough. When I was a boy, we used to drive Sir William's cattle along that road. It'll be strange if she goes that way. Yes, very strange. Well, we'll see. This is the road. Belford Castle. You were right, Gerd. It does look as if Sir William's behind this. Well, what do we do now? I'm going in. If I'm not back by high noon, you'll know I'm a prisoner. You know what to do. Yeah, but that's all very well. How do I find you and... Oh. witness to a man's murder can be inconvenient. Why have you come here anyway? To find out what you hope to gain from raiding the three weavers of Quincy. Well, Sir Ivanhoe, you being clever once too often. I'm going to have you arrested. Oh, I don't think so, Sir William. On what pretense will you have me arrested? <laughs>